Hey guys, welcome back. So of course we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm gonna spread it across this brush first and then apply it to the eyes. And I know you guys can see that the brush is dirty, but if it didn't affect the primer going on, it doesn't matter. The reason why I'm doing this technique today is so that way I have a little more control of the white blending into my P. Louise base that was previously on the lid. Oldie but a goodie, I'm going to take the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics and that purple shade in the corner and we're going to start to pack it on the outer corner. For this part you want to take your time picking up the matte shade and packing it in because our base is still pretty wet so you don't want to interrupt that. So make sure you just lay the color down first and then worry about blending the edges later. You also want to remember when picking up a matte shade on a wet base you want to use a fluffy brush versus a flat synthetic brush. In this case it holds majority of the product so it allows you to place the color little by little onto the eyes which is what we want and we're able to build up the color in sections versus all at once that the flat brush would give us. I'm now going to take the NYX Air Palette in this light bluish purple shade and I'm going to pack it all over the eyes using a flat fluffy brush. But as you guys can see, I do stop at where the blue meets the purple and I'm going to continue to intensify the color up from the inner to the middle of the lid. I do pick up a little more purple and pack it onto the outer corner and then use it to blend the purple and blue together. Now I'm going to take a different blending brush and a little bit more of that blue and I'm going to pass it into my crease from the inner to the middle of the lid, connecting it to the purple. I'm going to take the same NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and apply it into my waterline. I'm then going to use it to dust it underneath the eyes as well too so we can make sure the green stands out. I'm going to take this bright matte green and I'm going to place it into my waterline and underneath and once I get it nice and bright I'm going to blend it out. For the inner corner highlight, I took the Anastasia Aurora palette and I didn't show it but it's the only light blue color in there. You guys will see it later on in the video. I do use it again for my cheek highlight. Carefully, I'm going to apply the thinnest line of life just to assure that our fake lashes mend perfectly with our real lashes. And then I'm going to apply a little mascara like usual. For mascara, I'm going to take the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, which has been the best drugstore mascara ever. If you guys haven't tried it, you have to. So I attempted to apply some in my lower lash line, but again, we have that green going on all over, so we have to make sure that we don't apply too much or clump up the lower lash line. Okay, I don't know where these lashes are from. I'm so sorry I keep using them, but they're just so long and dramatic. I love it. To start the face, I took the Juno Miracle Cream and passed it all over. It's a moisturizer and primer in one, and it gives me the best feeling ever. Of course, I have to use my Sephora Collection Color Correcting Concealer and just pass it in the little munchas that I have all over, not go too crazy with it. I mean, you guys can see it makes a huge difference. Okay, you guys, so I'm pre-concealing at first. This is a Too Faced Multi-Scope Concealer and I use it for coverage. It's really close to my skin tone and because we already applied that green, I did not want to interrupt that at all. So I started with this first and now we're going to move on to foundation. I mixed the Too Faced Peach Perfect and the LA Girl Pro Mixing Pigment together just to make it a little more olivey for me. But I applied it in sections of the face and blended it out. I like to use this foundation on days where I don't want too much coverage but that's why I go in with the color correcting concealer and my regular concealer shade first so I don't feel the need to use so much foundation. 
To brighten, I'm taking this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in light warm and applying it to the center of the face to really bring out those parts and make it stand out. Off camera, I already set my face and applied my cream contour. Now to further bronze up, I took this Be A Light palette from Becca and applied those two shades right on top. When bronzing up, don't forget to hit your forehead, cheeks, and jawline just to make sure everything is nice and even. For blush, I took the Morphe Face Palette. This is the 8C, and I took Free, and it's a beautiful pinky pink color with a tiny bit of shimmer inside. To highlight, I took the Aurora ABH Palette, and I took Lyra, which looks gold, but it has a small bit of pink reflex inside of it, and I applied it to my cheekbones, my chin, my nose, and a little bit on my forehead. Okay, so you guys are going to see that I was very indecisive about this lip color, but my husband thought it would have looked beautiful. So I started with the Makeup Forever Lip Liner in 16C, which is a bright pink, and I was asking him for his opinion. He's like, yeah, that looks good. So I kept going, and I'm like, no, it's too much. So I go in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Sugar Mama, and I go right on top, and I still felt like it was a little too bright or corally for this look. So now I took the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina, which made it a little more cooler, like if it had a purple undertone, which I loved. Lastly, I applied this Anastasia Lip Gloss. It's called Dainty, and it has high coverage to it, so if I was to apply a lot, it probably would have changed my lip color. So I just kept it in the center. Now to finish off, I took my Urban Decay Deselic Setting Spray, and of course, you know, I'm feeling myself. A quick change of the hair and you know this completes the look you guys i am on my spring game vibe so if you enjoyed don't forget to like on your way out and sub and of course i will see you guys in my next video thank you for supporting